Hello gamers, here I am in the Honkai Closed Beta Test 1, and I'm going to be trying the Abyss for the first time. Um, I don't really think my characters are high enough level or anything. I, I don't know how this is going to go at all. Um, I'm bringing in... I, I'm assuming it's only one team. I don't know if it's going to be like Genshin where I need to. Um, but I just want to complete the first three floors, I believe, to unlock a character. So we're bringing in the main character... Hella, Asta, or Asta, I don't know how to say her name, I think it's Asta, and Bronya. Um, and as you can see, the levels are 18, 18, 17, 19, and I just leveled up some of their traces, which is kind of like their skill trees, I believe. I'm still trying to figure this game out, um, as pretty much all the beta players are. Um, but here we go, we're going to try this out. Okay, so, oh! Oh, this should be easy. It almost looks like I, I can do this in... I can do all these. But, oh, okay. So here's how you get your stars. You get your stars with these objectives here. We got clear with it eight turns for one star. So you want to do this within four turns for a... For a three-star rating. And for some completion, gets you this stuff. This will probably change in the final game. Um, they be they seem to be throwing these out so that we can get characters and stuff. Um, there's no gotcha currently in the closed beta, but I've got a feeling that's gonna change once the full game's out. But anyway, we're going to do this. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we got main character, Branya, Ella. And Asta. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see. First ever attempt. Oh, look, it has a recommended type. Fragmentum rules. Increase ice damage dealt by all eyes by 30%. Increase fire damage dealt by all eyes by 30%. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. So I almost wonder... Well, what's good? Let's just try this team. But I almost wonder if ha having, like, multiple of the same element would work nicely. Oh, okay, so it's actually like a dungeon. So we got... Avalanche, increase the ice dent. Oh, you choose one. Yeah, I'm gonna choose that one. Because I think Asta's pretty strong. Huh. Alright, let's see how this goes. Your orders, please. So wait, is it only this first battle that I want to complete in four turns? Or just every battle that's in here? That's what confuses me. Okay, we're gonna open Enemy up with an ult. Because I think this might be able to take out three of them in one turn. The rules of victory never change. Time for a good old counterattack. Because I feel like I'm over leveled, so. Support. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Um, I don't know if that counts as a turn. I'm not sure if ults count as turns because they kind of work a little differently. Um, you can skip people's turns even. Okay, I'll let's try this. Them. My heart's racing with excitement. Okay, I'm gonna do bounce here so that I hit both the targets. Okay, good. We finished them both off. So I don't know if that counted as two turns. Oh, challenge turns used zero? Hmm. I'm a little confused on how this works, but uh, yeah. Huh. We'll just keep going from there, I guess. Support. Okay, see so the ult probably would have been nice on this turn too. We're gonna go for a break on this guy. My heart's racing with excitement. Let's go. Let's do a bounce. Hopefully if we hit these two targets. Oh, nice. Let's go. Let's make it quick. I, I think that was good RNG right there. So with him, I'm going to do his skill so we can hit every character adjacent to this middle guy here. And hopefully we'll kill these two at least and leave this guy pretty low. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. He's just gonna whack them all and win. MC actually is really good in this game from what I've seen so far. Um, hopefully that stays the case. All right, so perfect clear. Sweet. All right, so what? It's zero challenge turns. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's... um. Maybe it's how many times the enemies get to go. I, I, I don't know. I honestly do not know how this works. Um, maybe we'll find out by accident in this, uh, next, next thing. Let's just use the same team. It worked out pretty well. I mean, we didn't even use Branya. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Increase the damage dealt by uh, of alley hunt characters. Alley destruction character. I'm not sure what my characters are. I'm just gonna go with hunt. Um, I I think Donhang is a hunt character. I'm not really sure how that's determined. Um, I didn't catch that anywhere in a tutorial or anything. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Commencing support. Okay. So let's hit I'll this guy. My oh, it almost one shot. Excitement. Okay. Since all everything here is weak to fire except for the last guy, if it, if this even hits the last guy, it's gonna kill him. So. We're just gonna use it. Use the skill. Okay, sweet. So Let's we knocked out the last guy there. Uh, these two are weak to the normal attack or whatever. I don't know what if it's an element or what, but um, we're just going to use MC here. We're going to do the skill. So we hit all three. Nice. Left him one shot. Branya can just shoot him. There we go. Easy clap. Battle over. So zero challenge turns used. I, I still don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, this guy looks like he might be a little tankier. Enemy targets detected. Okay, so I'm going to see if this works. Um, she can kind of like boost the speed, basically. Um, I don't know if that's a correct term necessarily, but Asta uh, can basically change the turn order. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if this actually happens here. So what's cool about this game is you can use their ults at any time, as long as it's charged. Your so yeah, see, speed. as you see, my turn order changed there. Okay, so unfortunately, these guys don't have any weaknesses to ice. Um, so... I don't know if I can impair something if it doesn't have a break on it, but let's try it. Okay, so we hit this My thing with the weak, which means I think it deals less damage, or maybe it takes more damage. I'm not 100% sure on that one. All three of these are weak to fire. We're going to use the skill. I am out of action points, though, so I need to do Let's some normal attacks, um, which is fine. I hope you've made your peace. Um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to... Uh, Boost up main character since he does so much damage. So Branya with the attack up. Let's make it quick. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do this, and we're going to is a good offense. get his ult going, which increases his damage substantially. Are made to be broken. Um, hopefully this will just take this guy out. That's my out. hope here. Okay, good. All right, so this guy has a shield. And the best way to take Let's care of quick. shields is to hit their weakness. But unfortunately, only Asta here can really deal with that. However, just hitting him normally is going to weaken his shield. Enemy and it will detected. deal a little bit of damage too. It's just not going to deal as much as if his shield was down. If his shield's down, it's going to break him. Um, which will change the turn order, and uh, I believe it makes them a little more vulnerable. I don't, don't quote me on that one. Um, but here we go. I'm not sure. I think anything I do with against this guy is going to not do very much because I think it is an ice type. But we got the um, we got the weak effect on him. So I got a feeling we're gonna actually get some turns this time on us. I'm not really sure how it works, but. All right, we'll just bounce on him. Have that do some good shield damage. Nice. I hope you've made your peace. Unfortunately, I am out of um, things, but I think I am going to use her ult here. Just gonna buff everyone. Plus, it's very stylistic. I love watching their ults. Ihoyo really, uh, really, peace. really knows how to do style. I might use Let's her ult quick. too, actually, even if it doesn't do a whole bunch, the because I think this is the final battle on, on this floor, so I might as well go all out. Let's make oh yeah, it that quick. did like nothing. But that reduced the defense even more, which is very nice. I'm gonna go on for the tech. Okay, we got the break. Um, let's buff up 
Let's buff up Asta. So, My I don't know if this is actually the case, but as you can see down here, it looks like she has three stacks of attack up. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works or if it's a bug or not intended, um, but she has got the attack up from her... When she attacks, I believe she has the chance to raise her attack. She's got the attack from Branya's ult and the attack from Branya's skill. So, who knows? She might deal some pretty big damage here. We're going to use her skill bounce. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Unfortunately, uh, oh, that's probably not too much here. Oh, we got My a crit. Nice. And this turns super far away, so we we pretty much have free reign here. There we go. Meteor Storm. I, I kept calling it Bounce, but it, I think it's called Meteor Stunt. It says Bounce in the bottom right, though, so oops. You know, it is what it is. Okay, so we used three challenge turns. I don't really know what that means. I think maybe it's because the enemy attacked three times. Um, I didn't count. I, I think that is the case, though. Okay, so we did that. Alright, so let's try floor three. I believe I beat four, floor three, I unlock a character. So that's the goal for today. We're, we're just going to try there. So let's start the challenge. Okay, we got Pierce. Increase the armor damage dealt of all allies by 50%. Ooh, that sounds really strong. Increase the attack of all allies by 25%. You know, I think I'm going to go with the Fighting Will, because I feel like there's going to be more enemies without... Well, I don't know. I might be able to, like, hit the... Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with the 25%. I feel like it's going to be overall better. Unless they're all armored, then I messed up, but... Oh, by the way, the way I've been attacking them, um, I've been attacking them with their weakness. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that next time. Um... Ooh, we're definitely going to... I think we're going to open with an ult here. We might be able to just take him out in one Enemy turn. Enemy data secured. The rules of victory never change. Let's see if she can do it. Time for a good old counterattack. Enemy targets detected. Okay. No, but we did... Uh, we did break the other two, and we lowered the defense. So... I'll contain them. My heart's racing with excitement. Um, I think I'm just gonna try to save my... No, actually, I'm gonna use this skill here. Okay, good. Let's make it quick. All right, I think... I think MC here might be able to take out this guy in one hit. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. Bank it on. Okay, good. And then Branya should be able to finish this guy off. Especially since we got the weak point thing there. Nice. Didn't have to use uh, too many skills there. I think we, yep, we've got five skill points down there in the bottom right. We are smooth sailing. Um, I also conserved most of my ults there. All right, so see at the top of the screen there, it has the enemy's level, its name, and then it's three weaknesses um, that you can start the battle with. And you, it's basically like a preemptive strike. You want to start by hitting them with one of those. Um, so I could either hit them with main character here, I could hit them with Pella, or I could even hit them with Asta. So well, why not just start this one with Asta? Oh, this guy I think is a enemy targets detected. It's a playable character actually. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um. Okay, and. I think I may have been wrong on the action point thing. I don't know. I'm still learning, guys, but uh, I'm just giving you what I think I know. So, um, plus this is my first attempt at this abyss thing, so. But uh, maybe that there is actions you could do outside of battle. Um, so maybe those are separate from the in-battle ones. Um, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's get back into the battle. We're just going to hopefully... Yeah take these guys out rather easily so we got the break on that guy this guy's fortunately weak to fire um i'm gonna use her skill Let's okay make this guy on the left is tankier than i anticipated um i think i'm gonna do a normal attack on him i hope you've made your peace and so we're gonna try to see if we can get this ult to move 
some of our party members ahead of the next enemy attack. I feel like Asta's gonna be very good um, if they keep her the same. Um, looks like I, I did, didn't peace. move any actions in front of this guy here, um, but it looks like I may have moved these two above him. I, I wasn't paying attention to exactly where he was in the turn order before, but I still feel like Asta's gonna be really good because she can potentially change the turn order um, with her ultimate, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, so I'm hoping we can take out... Here, I'm gonna do this. We're going to give Asta a damage buff. I'm hoping we can take out the smaller guy. Oh, did that give her uh, speed two or whatever? Because her turn order did just go ahead um, after I buffed her, so that's interesting. Or maybe she potentially has a passive? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that works out in my favor anyway. Um, actually, I'm not... Oops, I didn't mean to use her skill. I meant to cancel that. But that's okay. That's fine. It should still be fine. Your orders, please. Um... I'll contain them. Normal attack. We got an attack point. Good. Let's make it quick. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... We're gonna do this. We're gonna get the whole team buffed with Branya. Probably should have done this a turn or earlier, but that's okay. Let's make it quick. I mean, th this guy's under leveled compared to my team anyway, so it's not like my my strategy matters too much. A good offense. We're also gonna buff him up uh, of upper end MC. Are made to be broken. Yeah, we'll hopefully get some good hits in now. Well, that was a My lot of damage. With excitement. Yeah, we're gonna use her skill. Hopefully get some damage on that shield. Nice. I hope you've made your peace. Um Honestly, I think I'm just gonna attack here. Commencing support. Okay, so yeah, it's enemy turns. Um the enemy turns are where it matters here in the abyss. So, basically, characters that are going to be able to change the turn order or delay the attacks on the enemy are going to definitely be good in this game's abyss. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think I'm just going to use her ult. I probably should have used it secured. when it was available because it's the rules I'm pretty of sure it's the final battle change. of the floor. So. Time for a good old counter attack. Also, it seems like ults are going to be very valuable as well because enemy they don't. Detected. They don't take up your turn. Um, you can use them at any time. Especially ults that could potentially uh, delay an opponent. So, can be very valuable. Um, I'm gonna hit him with impair. I don't really think it matters that much, but let's make it quick. Okay, so this is going to break his thing. I'm not sure if it's too beneficial to use this when there's not another enemy, but I'm gonna use it anyway because um, I think it might do more damage. Oh yeah, definitely. My heart's racing with excitement. Either that or it's because I broke him there, but okay, we're gonna hit it with meteor storm, and that's gonna be enough. I think the crits may have pushed me over there. Very nice, and that should be another three star, hopefully. Challenge complete. Did it within two challenge turns, so we did get three stars. Very nice. Very nice. Well, my first impressions of the Abyss are pretty cool. Um, I like that a lot, actually. Um, and I'm sure it's going to just get very difficult as you get further along. It's probably not going to get very difficult during the beta because, you know, we're not going to have a lot of time to mess with that kind of stuff. But anyway, because of that, I unlocked this, which is kind of like your adventurer's handbook from uh, Gejin. And I unlocked this four star character. Um, I don't know if they're going to be putting characters in this thing in the final game. Um, but at least in the beta, it did unlock this character. So, oh, and sweet, I hit level 12, um, which allows me to continue the main story. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. There's my first impressions of the Abyss and a little bit of the gameplay basics. Um, I probably didn't get it 100%, um, but I'm going to try to get as much info on this game as I can before the beta ends and try to understand it the best I can. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, I've been live streaming this game on my Twitch, so make sure to follow me there if you want to watch me play live. Um, I've been playing it alongside Genshin and my occasional destiny, as you guys know. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all later.